Continuing on with our trigonometry, we are going to use the sine and cosine ratios to find the side lengths on a triangle. Let's go through a bit of review first. First step is always to label your triangles. Pick a side to be looking from, so if I'm looking from that angle, my hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle. And just as a reminder, the right angle points at it. If I go from the angle I'm looking from, the side on the far side of the triangle is my opposite side. And that leaves my adjacent side to be the leg that is right next to my angle. And it's the one that's not my hypotenuse. Over here, I've got Sokotoa written down. It's just a mnemonic to help us remember the three trigonometric ratios. So using this one, sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Using that one, cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And then using this last one, tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. As a reminder, you should write Soka Toa down at the top of every page where you're working with sine, cos, and tan. Let's do some questions. All right, so here we have a triangle with two missing sides. And the question asks, find the length of the missing sides. This is essentially two questions mixed, mixed into one. We have an angle we're looking from, and we're given one of the sides. Let's label the sides first. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle, and that right angle always points at it. Since we're looking from that angle right there, my opposite side is the one on the far side of the triangle from that angle. And that leaves my adjacent side, because that's the one that's beside the angle and is not my hypotenuse. Now that I've got my sides labeled, I can start working out side lengths. Just out of habit, let's solve for side x. Something you always need to remember to do, write Sokotoa down on your page. So let's use this to figure out which trig ratio we should use to solve for side x. When I look at it, I'm trying to find my adjacent side. I know my hypotenuse. So those are the two sides I'm going to work with. For this piece of the question, we don't know our opposite. We're not asked to find our opposite yet. That's for the next part of the question. So right now, it's not really a factor. So when I go back and I look over at Sokotoa, anything that's got the opposite side in it, I'm going to ignore. Sine has the opposite side on it. Not useful to us right now. Cos doesn't have it, but tan does have the opposite side, so it's not useful to us either right now. We're going to use the cosine ratio. All right, let's write our cosine formula down. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. We're going to put in what we know. I know that my angle is 67 degrees equals my adjacent. Now that's the part I don't know. I'm going to put in an X there. My hypotenuse, I do know that. 10.4 centimeters. And from here, we can start doing some algebra to calculate our answers. All right, let's bring up our calculator and figure out what the cos of 67 degrees is. Remember to double check that your calculator is in degree mode. So cos of 67 degrees, 67, and I'm going to use regular cos. I'm not doing second function cos because right now we know the angle and I want to know what the cosine ratio is for that angle. I'm not working backwards. So I'm going to use just regular cos. Got lots of decimal places there. I'm going to use 0.3907 because I'm going to round it off to four decimal places. So what I've got is 0 0.3907 equals x over 10.4. I want to get x all by itself, so I'm going to take both sides and times them by 10.4 because that 10.4 is what's on the bottom. Opposite of dividing is multiplying. I'm also going to multiply that side by 10.4. Those two cancel each other out. I go to my calculator. I'm going to go 0 0.3907 times 10.4. And if you're smart, you still have that number on your calculator. So I can just times that by 10.4. There's my x, 4.0636. So one decimal place is lots. I am now have x equals 4.1. Put your units on. That is centimeters. A quick check you should always do. As I said earlier, your hypotenuse is always the longest side of your triangle. So when I look at my x, which is not the hypotenuse, is it longer than the hypotenuse? No. If it had been, I made a mistake someplace. I need to go back and check my work. But in my case, it's not larger. Put a box around that. That is one of my answers. Okay, I've cleared off our work a little bit here. I made myself a little bit of space. Let's solve for side y. Still going to look from that 67 degree angle. This time I want to find my opposite side. Now I know my hypotenuse. I also know my adjacent side because I calculated it in the previous step. 
But as I'm going back to work on the other side of the triangle, I'm smarter to keep working with the hypotenuse instead of the adjacent. Because if I made a mistake while calculating the adjacent side, that mistake is going to go on and it's going to lead to another mistake when I calculate side y. So I'm going to use a side that I know is correct, and that's the hypotenuse. So I'm not going to use that adjacent side. Go back to my SOHCAHTOA. Anything with the adjacent isn't useful to us. Cosine has adjacent side. Tan has adjacent side. Sine is the only one that uses both opposite and hypotenuse. That's the ratio I'm going to use. Okay, let's write a formula out. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Fit in what we know. Sine and instead of theta, I'm going to put my 67 degrees, equals my opposite side, and that's my y, that's what I'm trying to figure out, over my hypotenuse, which once again is 10.4 centimeters. Let's calculate the sine of 67. So 67, trigonometry, trigonometry sine, okay, sine of 67 is 0 0.9205 once I round it off. Write down the right-hand side that I've still got equals y over 10.4. Next step, I want to get y all by itself, so I'm going to times both sides by 10.4. This side by 10.4. These two will cancel each other out, and I'm left with y equals, and let's bring up our calculator. I've still got my decimal there, so I'm going to times that by 10.4. Equals, and y side ends up being 9.573, I'm going to round that off to y equals 9.6. What are my units on? That's centimeters. Once again, I'm going to go on a double check. Is my y shorter than my hypotenuse? Yes. Okay, good chance it's correct. There is my answer.